guys, this is Tara. And I actually just got the inspiration to create this mini video for you guys since I like doing like how to's and things like that. Um, and I would say that the inspiration comes from Pendulum Magic for Beginners by Richard Webster. Um, and what I found interesting in this book, since I've kind of like read through it and I've love doing all the little activities and things in there um, is using your pendulum and here I have my little Nefertiti pendulum uh, that I've been working with very closely it's um, uh, purple and green fluorite in there um, is using your pendulum for affirmations you know we all know about doing affirmations affirmations in the morning affirmations to manifest money man affirmations to manifest a wonderful day things like that uh, but what I found interesting um, about the pendulum, Richard Webster says um, that when you use the pendulum, it's not some external energy that is causing the pendulum to swing uh, one way or the other. It's actually micro movements within your own hand that cause the pendulum to swing, um, which means that the information is coming from your subconscious or your higher self and or your higher self. Um, so. Uh, if you want to use this for affirmations, let's say, um, then uh, let's say I want to do the affirmation, um, I don't know, um, I am a wealthy person. Uh, so first I want to um, find which way is yes and which way is no with my pendulum. So please show me yes. Okay, so you see that for me it's swinging to the right. Thank you. Please show me no. Okay, now it's swinging to the left. Now I know my, uh, my positive and my negative. I am a wealthy person. <laughs> okay, it's swinging to the no. Um, I am healthy. Okay, it's swinging to the yes. Okay, so if I were to do some affirmations, um, when I said I am healthy, um, you know, it's swinging Yes, meaning that subconsciously, I really truly believe that I am a healthy person. Um, it's not just me saying, oh yeah, psh, I'm healthy girl. <laughs> um, when I said I am a wealthy person, you saw that it swung to no. So truly deep down, I don't believe I am wealthy. Do, I mean, like physically, do I have enough to pay my bills? Yes. Do I live in a home? Yes. Do I have a truck that's paid off? Yes. To many people, that's wealthy, but there must be something going on in my psychology that makes me believe that uh, what I have now is not considered wealthy. So I could actually go back into my psyche and say, um, like, well, try to figure out why I don't think I'm wealthy. So first of all, do I think I, uh, say, I am successful? Okay, so I do believe that I am successful. I make a lot of money. Okay, so it's saying no. So currently I don't believe that I make a lot of money, therefore I don't believe that I am wealthy. Um, I would be wealthy if I made a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, yes. Okay, so in my psychology somewhere, I believe that there is a certain number that determines your wealth. Uh, of course, we know that there are different ways of measuring wealth, but deep down in our subconscious, we have certain uh, things that are in place, uh, you, know, you know, where everything, all our, all our emotions, all our uh, beliefs are stemming from. So I thought this was just a wonderful tool for you guys to kind of take a look at your affirmations. Um, and so what Richard Webster says in his book is that if you find, you know, the pendulum is swinging one way where it doesn't believe you because um, your subconscious can't lie to yourself, um, <laughs> you know, where it keeps saying, I'm not wealthy, I'm not wealthy, I'm not wealthy, um, then, you know, just keep saying that affirmation every day until, until the pendulum swings in the positive direction and then keep doing it because after that amount of time, your brain and everything is really starting to believe you. And so Richard Webster says, when the mind and the psyche and your subconscious really truly believe something, it will do everything in its power to maintain truth. You know, your body doesn't want to lie to itself. Um, so if I really, really, truly believe that I am wealthy, then um, you'll start seeing that manifestation magic happen wherein 
reality, I'm going out and maybe just like kicking butt and finding ways and maybe opening my eyes to new opportunities to where I could, you know, do certain things where I could maybe possibly make more money so that I could affirm to myself that now I am wealthy. So it's like, kind of like you believe it, so you go out and you do it, and then um, you end up making it come true because your, your mind and your body want it to be true. So I just found that that was really interesting. And then it made me curious, you know, affirmations aside, as um, I like to use the pendulum for spirit work as well, and if it's true that um, my, my subconscious, my higher self are in charge of making the pendulum swing, um, then perhaps it's my subconscious and my higher self that is speaking to spirit um, that is causing it to swing. So I found that really interesting. Again, uh, this is from Pendulum Magic for Beginners by Richard Webster, and it's something that I've been doing, and it was really interesting because there were a lot of things I thought I believed, like, I'm successful, um, you know, I um, have a very successful life, I make a decent amount of uh, money, you know, I have people who love me, I love myself, and things like that, and it was weird, because some of those things, the pendulum did not agree with me, and I was like, well, what are you talking about? Like, of course I'm a successful person. Um, so it actually took um, a few weeks of me saying that every single day, I am successful, I am successful, until I really truly believed that I am successful. So I had to do some like shadow work and try to figure out why don't I think I, I, am, I am successful. And so there were some core beliefs in me where I believed only if you had certain jobs and you made a certain amount of money, does that make you successful? So I actually had to go back rework those core beliefs and now um it's kind of cool because now that um i believe i truly believe that i'm successful um oddly you know some uh manifestation blocks in like money and things like that have like disappeared um so actually i i am making like more money and having like some more success <laughs> just because I believe it now. So that's that's interesting how manifestation and those believing of those affirmations, it's not just saying the affirmation, but really truly believing it with your subconscious that it is true. Well, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys try this out. Let me know if you um, have tried it out. Um, let me know if um, you, know, you have a differing point of view or anything like that. But um, yeah, so if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you do want to catch a reading with me, I do have some pendulum readings on my Etsy shop and on my website. So check out the information box below or click on one of these boxes that pop up here. All right, yes, spiritual homies. I will catch you later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.